So today uh, we've got a bunch of Pendale students out doing a waste audit here at Pendale. We uh, collected all of the trash from the building from yesterday, Thursday, and today we're sorting it by where it came from and what it is. And uh, we're going to get some data on what kind of trash we make in a day. Paperboard, paperboard goes in with a single stream. This should be just to us. See those? Waste management is here facilitating us. They are our waste hauler, and they're kind of the experts in what goes where. So they uh, provided all of the information we need, and they're kind of consulting behind me right now on where certain things go as we sort, because they know what's recyclable and what's not at their facilities. They also provided a lot of the materials, the dumpsters, the t-shirts that the kids are wearing, uh, and all the bags that we're using. As part of the uh, service day for the ninth graders, a number of students are doing a waste audit. And what the waste audit is going to be about here at Pendale Middle School is having students determine whether or not the school can do a better job of recycling. Uh, currently, they do. Uh, separate paper that will go into the Abitibi container, but they're also separating today both trash and organics to see whether or not the, uh, the school is putting food waste in the wrong containers or trash in the recycling containers, etc. So they literally are getting down to every single piece of waste or recycling and making sure uh, it's been put into the right place and how they could possibly do a better job here inside uh, the middle school. Oh, fantastic. Uh, we could do a little bit more better on recycling, so I think we could actually reduce our amount that we use in one day by recycling more than we do throw away. Well, there's a lot of food trash and um, lots of gum. Please don't throw gum in the recycling bin. <laughs> and why is that? It doesn't. It doesn't recycle. Plastic doesn't break down. Oh, yeah, Napkins organic. That's okay. plastic. It's trash. Yeah. Well, this is not only just a, a ninth grade lesson or a seventh grade lesson. Uh, the lesson is actually a lot further reaching. Being able to save money is one thing, but understanding why certain materials can be made into new products and why others can't is important. It also is going to show the students perhaps the things that they are purchasing in the lunchroom or bringing from home that translate to trash versus recycling they may start to change their buying habits or have a better appreciation for the amounts of things that, as a society, we're disposing. This is just one microcosm, if you will, of what's going on out in the, the world that surrounds them. These are life lessons that we're hoping that they will carry forth, uh, not only just fr from the middle school to the high school, but also then into life. So we do a lot of different types of programs, and uh, we're just so excited to be a part of this activity, especially here today. Stream recycling. Is going to have I hope that they get an appreciation for how much waste we make in a day, just as humans here, um, and that they realize that there's a lot more we can be doing to reduce that waste. And then sort of long term, we're going to look at this data, and I'm hoping that they can actually get some ideas and bring it back to us to say, we noticed this on the day of the waste audit. Here's how we think we can reduce that type of waste.